Hello, all of you vain, gloriously wonderful people. On Friday afternoon, Joe from System Era hosted a stream on Twitch to talk about the 2024 roadmap for Astroneer, along with the update coming next week. As usual, I'm here to give you a quick recap of everything that was discussed in what I like to call a dev stream debrief. Let's get started. Joe began the stream by fleshing out some additional details for the 2024 roadmap. I'm going to come back to that later in the video, however. I want to start with Monday's update, the breakdown update, and the anniversary limited time event that accompanies it. Of course, the update will have bug fixes and the like, but the main focus will be the all new anniversary event. Joe made it sound like this will become a recurring annual event, adding into all the others that we play through each year. And wow, does it look promising. Everything seems to be out of sorts. Tether toppers are appearing from every event, exo research aids are glowing, isolated specimen are miscolored and appearing on other planets, and even the exo request platform control panel looks very, very glitched. There are so many weird things happening that I'm just going to let some of the stream footage play while we talk about it. From what we saw on the stream, it appears that a lot of the event items are going to be found in caves. Even the one isolated specimen was deep enough that it was right at the boundary between the plains and the cave biome. I have no idea if this will be true for all planets or not. We also saw that we will be able to create new event items that are just not right. I mean, look at this rotund little robot fella. Definitely not right. By the way, Joe confirmed that this new resource is called Resipound after someone in chat guessed it. The Apparently there may be a typo on the update title screen I showed you earlier, and that typeface below might actually say Bezapound. From the gameplay and screenshots I've shown you, you may have already realized that this anniversary limited time event has glitched together items from other limited time events. There will be new rewards for this event, including the Bobblegum Visor, Limited League Palette, and Explosive Personality Hat. I believe that visor and palette are featured in the update title screen that we looked at earlier. Joe also mentioned that this limited time event has thought about players like me who reached the end of the event and are a bit disappointed that it's already over. He said there are things in this LTE geared specifically toward that, so hopefully there will be a bit of replay value in the event beyond just unlocking the rewards. Joe also mentioned that, while you can complete the LTE all at once, that it will change over time. I suppose this correlates to the three different stages that I mentioned in my update video from Thursday. He said the following. You can complete it all at once, but it's going to change over time. So it's not just going to be like you, you finish it on day one and then that's the end of it. There's some there's some variation and some like adjustments that are going to happen over time with it, which is kind of cool. Taking part in the anniversary event will be a bit easier because the Exo Request platform no longer requires ceramic because that resource isn't always the easiest to find. Now it will only require compound and resin. Joe also mentioned that we should ignore the numbers we see in the control panel for the Exo Request platform, so I'm guessing those will be adjusted by the time the update drops. During the LTE portion of the stream, Joe answered a question from chat about an updated version of the game to take advantage of modern consoles. He said that it was never a priority in the past, but that the topic has come up in discussion as a possibility. That is, of course, in no way confirming that it will happen, but at least it is something that is being considered. If you want it to happen, be sure to let System Era know. Tweet at them, throw some feedback on the Astroneer subreddit, email them, bake them cookies, and send them along with a note. Joe also threw out a random question, asking how we would feel about having a tier 2 auto arm in the game, and how we might go about using it if it were to exist. Not to sound like a broken record, but this was not something confirmed as coming to the game, but I definitely got the impression that Joe wanted feedback about it to see how players would utilize it. When he was commenting about how cool the mismatched tethers look, he alluded to the possibility of being able to change their look whenever we want to, but he did not elaborate further. Joe wrapped up the stream after about 30 minutes showing off a bit of the event, so now let's backtrack into the first part of the stream with a summary of what Joe mentioned about the roadmap. Of course, we have the breakdown update coming on Monday. 
While we don't have exact timelines for the remainder of the updates, Joe did mention that both the spring and summer updates will be smaller updates. The Tapper is confirmed to be in the spring update and will have some functionality in the current pipeline in the game. There will also be some other new items that can be used in conjunction with the Tapper that will bring about some new gameplay. That spring update will also include a refresh of the ExoCares limited time event, which will not focus exclusively on scrap, but will also include other new elements. In fact, every limited time event this year will be refreshed in one way or another. Joe did not mention much about the summer update, but he did hint that he'll be talking about it with us more once things get going this year. Then Joe moved into talking about the expansion near the end of the year. It's going to be fairly big, though nothing specific was nailed down during the stream. A big question in chat was whether or not the expansion plans for the end of the year would be paid DLC or another free update. Joe mentioned that is currently something they are trying to figure out internally, but if it is paid, they want to make every effort to ensure that if you buy an expansion, your friends will still be able to play with you even if they have not bought it. I am really glad they are going to make every effort to not splinter the community. Joe also mentioned that if the expansion is paid, they hope to make a portion of it available to everyone as a free update while reserving a portion of it for those who would go on to pay for an expansion. Also, if it is paid, they want to make sure it offers a good amount of content. Of course, they still haven't really decided on whether or not the expansion will be free or not. Personally, I'd be happy to pay for an expansion that adds a good amount of gameplay, especially if it has new places to visit. Going hand in hand, Joe asked chat what they'd want if it was a paid expansion. He ran with the idea of new planets, solar systems, space stations, and more, but made it a point that this was just for discussion and nothing we talked about was planned at this time. And to be honest, I took that portion of the stream as Joe just getting feedback and ideas from the community about things they'd like to see and why they would want it. It never came across as a, hey, here's some stuff we're gonna do type of thing. During another part of this discussion, he did say he found it interesting that chat called out various new areas and that this general idea lined up with what they had been discussing internally, but he did not go into any specifics. I get the impression that the expansion is pretty much in a concept stage currently with discussions to determine what it will contain still ongoing. Joe did mention Storms, though he was quick to add a disclaimer that Storms are not confirmed, so who really knows at this point? Near the end of the stream, Joe answered a question that asked if this was the final year of updates for Astroneer. He mentioned that there have been several times they felt it was the end, but then support for the game kept going. Their plan right now is to see how things go this year and evaluate things then. And that sums up everything from the nearly 90 minute stream. I've left a link to the full VOD on Twitch if you want to watch the entire thing, but for now, I want to hear from you. Does seeing some gameplay of the event make you excited to play it? And what are your thoughts on the expansion possibly being paid DLC? Let me know all about it in the comments. Or just drop an emoji that sums up your thoughts. I'll have more coverage of the breakdown update for Astroneer and the anniversary event on Monday afternoon, plus a stream on Twitch later Monday evening playing through the event itself. I hope you'll join me for both the video and the live stream. And until next time, I'm Brandon reminding you to stay vainglorious.